trees. Misery does survive a little longer with the south, but Crit will still find him. First blood for EG. Uh, have uh, enough damage, and now the Arcanian being camped. It's likely going to go to GPK. Nope, they'll force it off. Yeah, pop right. back. Well, they do manage to get him right into the reaches of GPK. GPK turns with the Vortex, drags back Pi. A few hits here with the overload will do nice. it. Four kills now for EG. Top lane, aggressive move on to Ramses. This time Ramses is alone, so Misery and Ace will be able to find him with that meta. Stop them from diving any further. Start of the damage. I say that Pi, he's still kind of looking here for Fly on the back lines, getting behind the tower. Another rocket flare out. Zibay's coming in through the trees. Shockwave being lined up. They'll find the wave and oh, take down Pi. They're going to find RTZ too, baby, but he's got the illusions. He's going to try and duke it out. Pi, not quite in range of the battery assaults as RTZ continues to run away. As RTZ knows, he's able to head back. Trying to find some sort of way of, of getting in onto Ramses, but proving difficult to do so. Now Crit's found the opportunity to get on top of Ace himself. Goes in, GPK joins the move, and they'll take out Ace there. Ace just not having the backup required. Misery not Whoa. quite close enough and couldn't do anything to help. I'm not sure I'm a fan of this build on Chessie either. Three points into his Q, going for lane domination, and okay, he'll dominate Fly, it looks uh, like. It's going to be a bit of backup though as Ramses steps in. Pylite Dai is going to dive in past the tier one to look to finish off Fly. We'll get the kill, but now TP's coming in. Pi goes straight out with the TP, but crit. Okay, he's crit. in just in time with the Avalanche, cancels the TP, and Pi will die for that die. Gold into damage. But when you have an Empower as well, you can hit this BKB third item timing and just straight up shred buildings. I think EG's team fight is better, but they don't have that same raw DPS. Look, they're going to be able to find this ward here on the cliff, giving them straight up vision. Oh, oh they're going to be able to get the Sunder off, but still heavy amounts of magical cook damage coming out. Pi? But Pi, he's in with the save, or at least tried to. GPK's got the last little bit of mana. He's in, he finds Ace, but the Sonic Wave comes out for Chessie. You get GPK in return, one for one. Crit with a final toss up and the poison from Ramses. They'll kill a second. Instead of the Terror Blade, thus the Sunder was able to go off, but they still find that kill, but they lose GPK because of it. Uh, top three net worth all on the side of five men. Would have been unexpected. Crit hunting in Again. the trees. Zibay is already used the skewer to try and break away, but the toss back's there RP. right into the hands of RTZ. He's going for, go for this RPTP play, and it's ooh, not going to quite work there. As Pi tried to step forward, push them back with the cogs, but RTZ was already able to get that final right click in to kill off Zibe. They'll also get Pi as GPK comes storming in behind the tower. Let's see what sort of a catch they can find at the moment. Misery showing him mid. Crit's gonna go for it. Jumps in. Whoa. With the toss back, Misery. He'll go down. It'll be an easy one. He'll, he'll try and roll away, but the damage over time will. You have better catch because you have this tiny blink, and it's effectively just the supports from five men that can make oh. plays. Jesse blinked in on it. Whoa. That's going to be an easy opportunity for Crit. He goes for it straight up. Jesse there, sort of tunnel visioning on the rune, not expecting EG to be waiting there for him. And now Pi, he's got a little bit too close to the sun as well, trying to fight in. He's using the hookshot to keep himself safe. It's going to work. The curse here, holding back Ace on the high ground. Pi still goes down, but Zippy, he's able to skewer in, get the opportunity for the RP onto GPK. But on the back lines, Crit's in once more. We'll be able to finish off Ace. Zibe goes for the TP out, will yeah. make it away. Nobody really cares about his hero at this point. And uh, you're going to have some oh, major crit. damage issues. He's going to try and have a poke onto Ace. I mean, this time around, Ace, you know, he's not going to die to the burst of Crit alone. Crit, you know, he's just having a bit of fun with him, poking around. It almost certainly cost him his life as he's going to try and run away. Another toss. Oh, he's like, ooh. nearly. And now it has pulled Ace into a bit of a precarious position, but I say that Pi's there, offering up the back. It's now GPK in this trap, but he is able to get himself out of the cogs. Curse as well, just controlling this cliff area, making it hard for the rest of five men to get in. They turn over towards the clock. Chessie has a DD, throws out the dagger on to fly. EG with the four of them, poking back at Chessie, blinks back up. Gets himself away. Misery will end up ticking out to the damage of Ramses. Zip four for GPK, still got mana to chase down. Chessie blinks still on court after a couple of seconds. He's caught by the ensnare. Oh, the oh. RP, Zip it. He's trying to help, but Chessie's already dead. They get GPK, but now with the blast, the Coming out onto Zibe, Arteezy could chase down the Magnus. A double kill for Arteezy. EG just continue to win these fights, and that's three times now, back to back. He's gonna turn over towards Pi instead, though, as Pi taken down. He's gonna play like you know, I He still hears the voices of them. Oh. Uh, it's, it's commanding him, there's mid lane. GPK is going to look to zip in, silent stop. Screw across, Zippe trying to look for Arteezy. The RP does get the two of them, but the uh -oh. curse, the cold embrace response from Fly puts the whole play to an end. Zippe trying to run, but he's surrounded by the Arteezy illusions as EG again just kill off all well, the, the three big ones here. Zippe trying to run, Fly will find him. One more, it'll do it. Maybe not, actually. The he's, Greaves. He's, he's living. The burn's back up, though.
As there we have it, Arteezy, he'll say that was my kill. Just tanking up with that Grease pop to survive the attempt here from EG. EG already ready to go back in. Now look over towards Chessy here for a second time. The Orchid upon him, is it enough? It is. GPK is able to burst him down. Turns over towards Zibbe. GPK is played so aggressive. The curse from Fly is going to catch the three of them. Pylai die falling to his own teammates. GPK is just back across over towards Misery. He's low on mana. Oh, Toss crit. back as well. Crit with the control. Keeping Zibbe close enough to this storm as GPK He's going to start bottling. He's looking over towards Ace. Ace starting to tick down low. Ace does have a Sunder available. GPK finds Zibbe in the tree. Zibbe! He's going to live a little longer with that Greaves once more. Still alive. Gets an RP off in time. Does lock the Ramses down under the tower. Will be able to kill off the Veno. There's a buyback from Misery, but GPK's man is back up as he's in with the second life. Goes over towards Ace. Zips in onto the Terror Blade. Ace is dead. Misery also going to die here for a second time this fight as they just could not fight into the, this Aegis already. The struggles just fighting into EG alone. GPK is going to go for the TP out. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's going to be any sign of five men responding to this. They've still got the tier twos up on the side lanes, so they can afford to, to let this one go without the the worry of any further damage being done to their base to make their way over there. I'm going to lose the second set of racks if they don't do something soon. The pincer. They're it's gonna coming. try and come in from the backside here. See what they can do. They get on top of Fly. Can they actually kill this Wyvern before he does anything though? Fly? He's able to cold embrace and suddenly Ace can't go for him. Ace turns over towards Ramses. To skew it forward. Oh, what a song. song! Arteezy putting the whole attempt to a stop. As Fly's the, getting ready. Yeah, you know, they've already lost two of their members. Curse out. Onto Ace, will control him, crit, the tossing. tossing him back into the curse range. GPK zips across, Zibay will pop the RP, but the damage has already been done. Three dead on five men, Ace will fall. They haven't got any buybacks, that's enough for them right now. As five men will tap out, EG to take this game one. And uh, they look pretty darn good oh, in yeah. this car ready for game two of EG versus five men. And the, the panel's sort of saying they feel that five men's got a bit of a better shot this time around with the draft. Five men themselves being the ones to grab the pen this time around in the draft. And in terms of lanes, it is actually going to be EG sending the, the tiny to the mid lane. Oh. So we're, we're going to get to see a GPK tiny this game. Misery. Let's go away here. Uh, he will still fall. That's going to be first blood there for crit. There's a lot of gold going the way. Oh. I die. Look at the Gale in on him and Pipe build up a fair bit of damage. They've got the rotation as well from Chessy jumping in. Excellent move from the puck. Chessy Big comes kill. in and takes down Arteezy very early on. Same time down bottom ace. Feeling the heat of Crit and Ramsey's another proc there off the passive from Crit will set up Miss for me. that kill. Five men sort of tunnel vision with the idea that hey we're gonna go mid against this Pango. Chessy's gonna have a really good time. Oh yeah. wait, they can actually switch things around. What do we do now? That's the benefit of the time. That's why EG has always and forever been willing to first to this hero. It's arguably Crit's best hero. Top lane. Ace is going to come in with the horn. TP's going to come in to try and help out Fly, but Fly, he'll still fall there. So, five men able to start to get something for Ace. It, it is a kill. It is just a support kill, though. They'll be able to transition it into this tower push, but of course, at the same time, yeah. EG will take the tower down on the bottom lane. And ideally, you want to be able to play more aggressive with this draft. It's about map control. Making moves is four Spectre haunts in. Oh, oh no. One in the river. Ramses just comes in. Notable artist made a song about that very concept. But more importantly, you realize, look, we have no real ability, even with this lead, to just dive uphill into a Veno Ward, into the Magarp, into the ET. It's just suicide. There's no reason to do it. Superheroes. The trouble is, oh, no. I mean, GPK is just, he's on a roll right now. Finding every single setup that he can. Crit, uh, even gonna roll across, look over towards Misery. Ace is gonna pop the horn. Maybe they could get GPK. They do oh. catch him with the ET ult. They'll be able to bring down the tiny fly. Drops the ult onto the two of them. Chelsea with the coil, holding the three of them up in the high ground. The stomp as well, catching all four. Puts them to sleep. Only one tier one falling on EG's half of the map. Five men just unable to push in onto any objective. GPK with another catch. Keeping this game very good and strong here. 7 1 and 2. There's actually going to be a buyback from Pi. Crit's coming. Yo, know, from Pi. Not, uh, not uh, doing anything <laughs> at all. I mean, Chessie gets the coin onto the three of them. But Arteezy is ready to turn up. He walks <laughs> over to the fight, pops the meta. The sleep from Pi does hold back Arteezy's TB for a moment. But a blink four for GPK gets the vision. 
to set RTZ up for a second kill. Enable the playmaker. I again point to the to the guy in my view who's been the star of both these games. Crit always making plays. Years of dominance as a near unparalleled four position. Ace coming oh. in. But the horn. But it's a little bit spooky. Uh, but uh, EG, they're not afraid of ghosts. Misery RP. does go for the RP into his own death. The coil's out onto the three of them, but there's no follow up. Top lane into the tier two tower because he's playing Spectre, and unfortunately, oh. that's how it works. But wait. RP and a horn. Uh, Coil as well. Three ults here for GPK. Is it enough? Uh, it looks like it will be. Oh, he's given them the juice with the Avalanche. Some lovely moves. Crit's coming in with a backup. GPK does still go down. They do manage to kill him off. Where's the team? Jesse, I mean, he's also chasing it for Crit. Team? Now, we, now we're going to start seeing some TPs coming from EG as they're... Now baiting them into a deeper point. GPK actually buying back, and this was a plan all along by the looks of it from EG, the good old Jabate. As GPK buys back, and they'll punish five men straight away for their aggressive dive, knowing with all those ults used by five men, there's very little they can do to fight on into this. Jesse tries to hide, he's got the orb out to the side. GPK, can he chase on for this? Blinks forward. Jesse's able to get the blink out in time. He's going he for live. it. Ramsey's trying to play for the TP in to block him off. We'll find him with the silence. Chessie has been sprouted up and controlled. Ramsey's reads his movements perfectly. Misery. Let's go back on to RTZ, but still RTZ with the Aegis with Sunder. And with the full backup of the squad, EG smoked up behind him. Ready for anyone to jump in. Meta right off cooldown. Time to go. No rock, but still strong. Oh, they're going to go in, try burst, and they will be able to do it. Burst down RTZ, cost Jesse his life. Because the Aegis is there, RTZ ready to go for a round two. Uh, looks like EG won't give him much of a choice though as they continue the onslaught. Glyph's gonna get forced, but that's still a DD Terrorblade with meta pops and other than Pile I Die throwing out stumps, where's the where's the D push? Toss back. Oh. Doesn't oh, catch man. anyone with a skewer. Pi's now in a little too deep. Pi will fall, he's got the buyback. Oh. The offering comes out onto Ace and Zibe. Zibe. It's blown up, Ace is down as well. There's a buyback available on the Spectre. He will use it, but the rest of his team just getting torn apart. Misery goes down. Another third buyback out from them. The coils out of the three of them. They do manage to burst down Crit RP as well. It does catch out easy. They will get him. They're holding. It's a triple kill for Ace. The buybacks work okay, out. Okay, okay. They managed to push back EG. Oof. Oh, talk about that man here. They're in onto him. They got the Dream Call onto the two, and they managed to find both of them. As Fly and Crit have been found, RTZ and GPK as well as Ramsey's TPing in are oh, there Misery. with backup. That will be Misery going down Ace, he's got to run. As we said, these buybacks were oh. used. Nice little chooks here from Ace. But still they'll find him. In they go with the Rolling Thunder. Metamorphosis pop, they know they take the Spectre out of the game. He's going to have no way of returning, dead for 100. Can they find the, the perfect execution they're going to need? Roshan getting low, they'll look to Horn in again. Roshan not quite finished off though. EG back it away once more. Chessy, he's got the call down onto Crit. They're gonna try and take down the Pango first, but RTZ turns over towards Pilot Eye, beating him back. Crit oh, will survive, no. jumps over the swashbuckle, gets the Rolling Thunder off. It's a triple kill for RTZ around the pit. Four dead on the side of five men, and they'll call it. It's a team wipe, finally they've had enough. They'll tap out of this one as game two goes to EG. The series is theirs, two to zero.